Anthony Towns is not sorry for his role in last week's scuffle with Joel Embiid. Here is what Kat had to say about his role in the incident. Quote, listen, I am going to defend myself. I ain't going to take nothing. That's a very, he says, talented player. Um, I just had to defend myself in that situation. Mac, is Kat saying he had to defend himself in that situation? BS or real talk? That's real talk. You better defend yourself. You are a man at the end of the day. He BS? started it. So finish it. Start it and finish. Okay, it, once I they were care. scuffling, I understand he's got to defend himself. He started it. What, Joel was on defense. What, been, the, what has been the tag on Minnesota and Kat? That they, they're soft. soft. Right. So okay. don't you like to see that? I didn't. That wasn't the question. The question was BS or real talk. I had to defend myself. Well, maybe he's talking though, about defending himself from the onslaught of the are last you three he's years. He's got to defend his honor. I'm saying he has to defend himself from all the soft talk. Okay. <laughs> if he's <laughs> defending his honor, it's real talk. If he's defending himself from attack, it's BS. <laughs> there was real a lot. Talk. We showed that night. There was a lot going up unto that particular incident, yes. back and forth between the two For of them. For several and years. We know there actually. has been back and forth, as you said. You yes. know the instigator that Embiid is. He, <laughs> <laughs> I will say I heard from a lot of vets around the league after that. They were happy that Kat stood up for himself in that situation. Next up, we're going to talk about the Bulls because Coach Jim Boylan chose to roll with his bench when the Lakers opened up the fourth quarter on a 29-4 run. <clears throat> Here's Boylan about his decision. Take a listen here. Because I'm going to develop this bench. I'm going to develop this team. I got, I got, I got 15 guys to develop. And uh, I'm going to play them in those moments, and they're going to learn how to play winning basketball. I'm not going to. I've never. I've never yanked guys. I've never done that. Brian Tracy is Jim Boylan saying he was, you know, just trying to develop his bench in that moment. Right. Yes or real we talk. We're having one of these days. <laughs> All right. Do you need to develop a bench? Yes. But about him never pulling anybody. It was a year ago where he benched all of his starters for the last 20 minutes in the game <laughs> to say that they needed to get ready to practice the next day after right. a back-to-back -back so where yep. there was You're almost a mutiny. You're living, You're in, the living in the past like last he, December, he, he, not yeah. even a year ago. <laughs> he learned from his state. I actually like this. Like, get these young guys in early, let them go through this, the fire, and, you know, when that situation They're going through comes, the fire right now. They've blown, right. like, five fourth-quarter leads. I'd rather, I'd rather them get it in now than later on in the season. So, the real talk. Moving on, let's see if we can find agreement somewhere. Gordon Hayward went 16 for 16 with that, you know, <clears throat> that mid-range jumper no one's allowed to take anymore inside the three-point line, but he didn't seem too excited about it. Here's what Hayward had to say after the game. No player since there was has been a three-point line has gone 16 for 16 from inside the arc. I mean, that's crazy. But it seems like a pointless stat to me. Um, uh, I mean, I think it was, yeah, it was a good night. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have shot those threes then, kept shooting the twos. I don't know if he's saying 16 for, like, specifically 16 for 16 as opposed to 17 for 17 is the pointless stat. But do you think overall, guys, <clears throat> the fact that he was perfect from inside the three is pointless or not pointless? <laughs> It's not pointless, man. Let me, tell you, let me tell you why it's pointless. Let him, let tell me why him, it's pointless. I don't think it's pointless <laughs> being that, look where this guy come from two right. years ago, right? How ironic right. that he breaks his leg in Cleveland, comes back two years later, and have a game like this. This right here should propel him to excellence for the rest of the season. Hey, it was a wonderful performance for him. The reason he's right is, did you watch the Cleveland defense in this game? Oh, <laughs> now we're blaming it on me. <laughs> I mean, that's, in t that's throughout the entire league. So Nobody's you're saying it's it. pointless if he accomplishes uh, anything because listen, he accomplished I'm it against you, Cleveland? I'm telling you, go what, back and watch what, it. Was it layups or jumpers? It, it was well, shooting jumpers. I mean, Kevin, mix. Kevin, what mix. are we doing? I mean, I'm sorry, like, Chetty Osman and Kevin Love were... Uh, Jumpers. Oh, come on, man. Excuse Jumper. Man. That's a tough shot. Okay, that one I'll give... Oh, oh that wide-open nine-footer. Look, it was a great... <laughs> it was a great performance by him, all due respect. I, I love that he's, he's playing better again. It's nothing against Gordon. The Cavs' defense last night on Hayward... Come on, man. ...was embarrassing. All the way down to the last minute of the game, where Chetty Osmond fell asleep and he got a putback layup to clinch the game. Hayden right now. Here's what I like, because I, I know your mother pays attention to the Cavs because you're from Ohio, and you are going to hear from your mom for the fact that we're doing a segment on Gordon Hayward and you have turned it into haterism well, on somebody, the Cavs. That's what I want to get to is. Rudy Gobert. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he is asking for a bigger role in the Jazz offense. Here's what Gobert had to tell reporters. This is interesting. Here's the quote. 
When you have a guy that's 7'2", <laughs> who can catch the ball and finish under the rim, you have to use it. We haven't done it the last two years against the Rockets, and we're not doing it right now, so I'm hoping we can work on it. It's on me, he says, to get like into that. good positions at the rim. And at the same time, it's on my teammates to want to find me. <clears throat> Tracy McGrady is Gobert saying it's on his teammates' desire to find him, BS or real talk. I'm like, I'm like this. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, the perimeter player yeah. says, just get down there and rebound and throw the ball back out to me. Listen, last time I was on this kid, it was two years ago in the playoffs when they were playing against the Rockets. Mm -hmm. Rockets switches everything. Yep. So you got a point guard guarding Rudy Go Gobert. And he couldn't do anything when the point guard switched on him. So if anything has changed from two years from now where they could actually throw in the ball and he does some work, I'm all for it, real talk. But until I see that, it's BS. He's, he's averaging almost three shots a game less than he did last year. So what do you think of the fact that he is this? This is really public. I mean, he is specifically calling out. Let's see if we can work on that. Airing the dirty laundry. <laughs> I'm not getting the ball as much as I should. They need to find me more. We need to work on it. Well, it, it is. That's it, unusual for this team. A big man making himself available, demanding the ball versus getting the ball is his argument as old as yes. time in the NBA. And I'm sure that's some of it. But he's getting three less shots a game. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy is a very, this guy's an all-star. He's never going to be like leading scorer. Well, I but mean, I mean, they it, improved their team, though, right? They, they, Rondanovich. Um, Conley, so yeah, it's going to be. Conley shooting 32 percent. I think maybe some of those. <laughs> I mean, it changes okay. sometimes require an adjustment. I think there's probably, if I went and looked at every single Jazz possession, which I have not, my guess is that there would be, there could be a meeting in the middle there. But I do believe that. He's just to never, it. to me, been a guy that we could throw the ball to and say, get, get us buckets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.